What's going on YouTube? Briggs Gaming back with another weapon review for Ghost Recon Wildlands. And this time I am bringing you the R93 LRS2. Or in the real world, it is actually called the Blazer R93 LRS2 Tactical. Now this gun's a pretty cool gun. I never really used it very much uh, because I used either the... Uh, MSR and stuff like that because I thought that was probably the best rifle out there and a lot of people think the MSR is probably close to being the best rifle, but I Think this might be the better rifle of all the sniper rifles Of all the bolt-action rifles anyways the semi-automatic rifles They're pretty good if you're good at headshots, but I mean taking body shots You're gonna have to pump at least three or four rounds into them, which doesn't make much sense But it is what it is. I mean, it's a video game. What can we really expect? Anyway guys, for a little bit of real world information about this gun, it is it was actually made in 1993 all the way up until 2017. And over 200,000 of these were made uh, by Blazer. It is a German sniper rifle. It's pretty cool. Um, now the thing that kind of separates this from your typical bolt action sniper rifles is because this is a straight pull bolt action. It does not, it is not a, uh, a turn up or a twist up or whatever people want to call uh, your typical bolt action rifle. Oh. Now if you're not really familiar with bolt action rifles and stuff like that, how they Drugs really up. work, uh, pretty much and a rebel. typical bolt and action rifle is you grab your bolt handle, you're going to push it up and that's going to unlock your bolt Smoke and then you're going to slide it back. That's going to allow your magazine to... Uh, feed another round into your chamber then you're gonna push the bolt back in it's gonna lock it into place and then you're gonna push your bolt handle back down and then that sets your firing pin and you're ready to go now the thing that makes the uh, R93 LRS2 different and has a little bit faster uh, follow-up shots it's because it has a straight pull bolt now you do not have to pull the bolt handle up and pull it back and then push it forward and pull it down again. It is simply, the bolt simply slides straight back. Uh, you grab the bolt handle and it has a little locking mechanism in it. You actually pull the bolt handle back towards you, that unlocks it and that whole bolt just slides straight forward. Or straight back and then you just push it straight forward, the bolt lo or bolt handle locks into place. Got a truck carrying um, so there's a lot less, convoy. not a lot, but there's less movement I guess, more a less actions and a lot faster to get that follow-up shot. Now in the game, this gun's got really good range, really good damage for being a level one. Um, I haven't upgraded it at all because I really have no reason to upgrade it. It's a freaking awesome gun. Even with the suppressor, um, it's still a one-shot kill, even in, the, even in a kneecap. You shoot a guy in a kneecap, it's still gonna kill him. It's pretty crazy. Uh, but completely empty. This gun has a five second reload. So it's kind of slow, just like your typical bolt action rifles. But I mean, nobody, it doesn't really matter as long as you're being tactical. A five second reload isn't really that long. Uh, between follow up shots, for every time you fire a shot, the time it takes to rack another round into the chamber is between about two, almost three seconds for your follow up shots, which isn't too bad. Uh, considering the other bolt action sniper rifles, which is almost five seconds between shots. So this definitely has a little higher rate of fire. It definitely has some serious uh, range, some serious damage, and like I said, this is my new favorite sniper rifle. I love this rifle. It's a lot of fun. It doesn't have as many uh, like uh, cosmetic features that you can change on it. It's only got a couple or a few barrels. It doesn't have any um, uh, like muzzle brakes or flash hiders or anything like that. It pretty much just has your standard barrel tip and your suppressor. Uh, it's got a 10 round magazine or a five round magazine. And, and you know, it's like your typical bolt action sniper rifle. It's just a little bit better. So, I mean, if you guys have ever used this gun, let me know if you guys like this gun. Let me know what you like about it. Let me know what level you guys have got it up to, if you guys do use this gun. I might upgrade it a little bit more just to see if there's a difference, but as of right now, level one, I mean, it's a freaking showstopper. 
no there's no getting around it i mean it's a good gun it's got good speed or uh it's got a good rate of fire it's got horrible handling just like every other sniper rifle um but it's pretty good i mean it's got good range well, yeah. even with the suppressor it's pretty impressive how much range it has with the suppressor it doesn't have very much drop and the damage doesn't really go down very much with the suppressor on it. I mean, it, you're definitely going to get a lot more damage with the suppressor off. But, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if you can kill someone with one shot with or without the suppressor, who gives a crap? So, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little video. Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the video. Hit that like button. Make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any other videos. And I've been trying to get some... Um, can't think of the name of it now. So, uh, try to get the State of Decay video uh, to that I've been working on up and really running. Done. It's been I'll so long since I haven't since I put up my last ones. I'm trying to get something figured out. For some reason, I cannot upload my State of Decay 2 gameplay. It won't let me do it. So I'm trying to figure all that out. Please be patient with me, guys. If you guys liked my other State of Decay videos, I know there wasn't really too much to it. It was just kind of like a, hey, we're with State of Decay 2. We're awesome. We're, this is awesome. Let's play it. Let's kind of see a little bit introduction to it. So let me know in the comments if you guys want to see some more State of Decay 2. Because um, I want to get some more videos up. It's just I'm having a little bit of issue right now figuring out why they won't upload. So anyway, guys, I hope you liked the video. Smash that like button. Make sure you subscribe. Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear from you guys. This is Briggs Gaming, and I will catch you on the next one.